Hi, I'm Hugh McGuire and I love Collingswood. What do you mean I'm Hugh McGuire and I love Collingswood? Ladies, I'm Hugh McGuire and I love Collingswood. Okay. We've got some great events <laughs> happening in Collingswood. Yeah, we do. Right now for the kids, we've got Little League sign up. Make sure you get online, take a look at what you can do, and get those kids signed up. Another reason I love Collingswood, Second Saturdays, what a great night. Take your loved one, walk by yourself, stroll down Haddon Avenue, visit our wonderful restaurants and our vendors. Collingswood, we've got the Michael Smirconish Book Club. Last time, we had Chris Matthews. Now, we've got four local authors who are coming up and they're going to talk about their books, Jerry Blavitt, a couple others. It's a really exciting event. Go on the Michael Smirconish Book Club and pick up your tickets online. And you know, I'm right here, Lord's Wellness. And the, you know who I'm here with? Hugh McGuire and, and her <laughs> twin, Hugh McGuire, my two twins. How do you like that? Yeah, no, really. We're at Lord's Wellness and we're with, at, with the founders of Lord's Wellness. Sister Helen Hi. and Sister Mary Ann. Nice and we are we're not really Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> right. We are so lucky to have Lord's Wellness here in our community. For the past 32 years, they've helped us in many different ways. And I want to know what started, where did the concept come from for Lord's Wellness? Okay. Lourdes Wellness is part of Our, Our Lady of Lourdes Medical Center and Our, Our Lady of Lourdes Healthcare System. And 32 years ago, I was asked to start the Community Health Education Department for the hospital. The Community Health Education Department, okay. Right. So I said, I'd be glad to do that, but I wanted to do it, I wanted to do it in, with a holistic approach. Okay. Because at that time, that was a term that was being really embraced by the cutting edge uh, of healthcare, by people who really wanted to take a look at and treat and be with people in a holistic fashion. Okay. Meaning body, mind, and spirit. Okay. And we're, uh, our tradition is, is a Catholic tradition. Okay. However, we really focus on the spirituality of anyone that works with us, comes to us to work, and comes for help, treatment at the hospital, as well as expanding it out into the community. And uh, above the hospital door, the front entrance, right. carved in concrete are the words, the body is often curable, the soul is ever so. The body is often curable, the, the soul, soul is, is ever, ever so. So that for us, the, the holistic was not new. It was right. new for a lot of people, but was not new. And Sister Mary Ann, it, my background is nursing. Okay. Sister Mary Ann's background is spirituality, artist. She's a, an artist and a therapist. So, and we were very good friends. We studied together. And when I was asked to do the wellness center, or the community health and said I'd do wellness, I asked Mary Ann, okay, how do we do this? How do we develop a program for the city of Camden and all of the people that come to, to the hospital okay. and all of the communities around us that really work with the person and their whole being. That's wonderful. And wellness is living your life to the fullest. You know, and wellness is living your life to the fullest. Regardless of where you are. You can be in a hospital bed. It can mm -hmm. be the, you know, the last days of your life. You're living your life to the fullest, doing what God has asked you to do That's and, and to be present to that whole being. That's wonderful. Yeah. Just as an aside, I started my, I started my first day was at Lady of Lords. I was born there. Oh. All right. Excellent. <laughs> so I've, I know Lady of Lords very well. And in addition, one of the, another reason is that, um, that Lady of Lords is so close to me is my first son was born oh. at Lady of Lords. Okay. So great. it has a, f a profound impact. Lady of Lords has had a profound impact on my life. And Lord's Wellness is a, yeah. a wonderful um, 
a community. It's a wonderful place to have your, your community. Mm -hmm. So Sister Marianne, you're doing some wonderful, unique things that are special to Lourdes Wellness for our community. Could you tell us about that? Sure. Um, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to be able to do this. So we're very happy that your creativity comes into our creativity and helps us to um, you know, let Collingswood know a little bit more about what we're about. Um, I've really, really been lucky to be able to work at Lourdes Wellness Center, and we're very lucky to be inserted into the community in Collingswood. And we're able to bring some of the well, programs, as Sister Helen was saying, a, a very wide spectrum of wellness. But for me, um, I think one of the important things about wellness is that creativity is part of it. And a lot of times people, you know, people are ready to listen about nutrition and they understand about exercise. Whether we do it or not, we know that we should be doing it. But lots of times people feel I'm not very creative. I don't think that's something that belongs to me. So we try to bring in the idea of creativity and spirituality into a lot of what we do. And Creativity as, mm -hmm. and spirituality yeah. Yeah. Into, into what we yeah. do at Lord's Wellness. Okay. So as people find out more about what their gifts and talents are, they become more well. Sure. You know? and, and so um, we try all different ways to let that be part of, uh, part of our programs. Okay. And, and not necessarily, um, you know, it, it's, it's more something that would permeate what, what we're about. So okay. uh, we're just really lucky to have that, and I'm really lucky to be able to work with it. So. Okay, that's wonderful. Yeah. Can you touch on a couple of the ways that you work with wellness, starting with maybe the physical, mm -hmm. into the spiritual, and then into the creativity area? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, with the Community Health Education Department, it's the whole range of everything that would happen under those circumstances in any hospital. So you, you care about nutrition and exercise and wellness and stress reduction and you know all those kinds of, of things and the health of the health of the community and really the health of the earth and the world. Sure. Um, and then on top of that, we do a lot of innovative um, classes and programs and hopefully you'll be meeting some of our people that do that okay. and talking to them. But Helen, Sister Helen, can tell you some more about that. That's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So the the specific areas that we're going to touch on would be nutrition, personal, personal training, training, acupuncture, exercise, exercise, mm -hmm. and also there's a, and tell, tell me, I'm curious about the creativity, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the spiritual and creativity yeah, well, one aspect. Of the one of the places we hope that you'll get a chance to visit is our meditation garden, which is, um, it's 1049 Haddon, it's right next to, uh, we have a other house uh, called the Little Portion. Okay. It's right next to that. And anyone can come mm -hmm. to that. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. just meditate. Yes, it's a, and it's a sweet little secret garden based it on um, a wonderful prayer of St. Francis of Assisi, the canonical of the creatures. But it's, um, it's a very universal prayer, and it moves people through the um, praise to you through the sun and the moon and the wind and the air and the stars. And then it urges people to pray for peace and um, helps people to come to some kind of quiet. So that's a, that's a space that's open to the community at any time just to wander through, to sit, to pray, to do journaling. So that's one of the ways that we're, we sort of embody um, the spirit. We also have people doing classes. Okay, so you have classes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for meditation, mm -hmm. for people to learn how exactly. to meditate. Right, so we've got meditation, mm -hmm. which is spiritual, and then creativity. Touch on that a little bit. Um, what would be something specific mm -hmm. in creativity that we can share? Okay. My background is um, art and okay. writing. So we do programs with art journaling. So it's using art and writing as a journaling process to help people um, express themselves in ways that um, help them become just more, a little bit more conscious of what's going on in their lives. We have people that work with... Um, Are they classes? They can be classes. They can also be one-to-one -one sessions. We also have off-site retreats. People can sign up to come for you know, some weekends. We have other places. Actually, this year we were in Assisi, Italy. For, Assisi, Italy. Yes, That's wonderful. Are, for, um, for a wonderful you know, creativity experience there. And what is the next tr uh, 
destination that well, you Well, the destination is the Crown Plaza in May <laughs> okay. for, that's wonderful. for a conference in May that we're doing that's, um, we're going to really celebrate how the Wellness Center integrates creativity, spirituality, and wellness, and people would be very, very welcome to come to that. Okay. We're very excited about well, that. Do you know what the date is on The that? 19th of uh, May. Of it's May. A Saturday. It's a Saturday. Saturday. Crown, mm -hmm. And how would they, if someone wanted to come to that, how would they um, sign up? Information is on our website, and we also have uh, brochures. We'd be happy to send, deliver, you know, uh, send out pigeons, however, <laughs> <laughs> however it would work to get the uh, information yeah. into their hands. Well, that's wonderful. So, you know, we're standing in this room. Can you share with me what goes on here? What are all these tables about? Uh, I, I'll give you a little history with this as well. And when we started the program, we, we started the program that would address our patients in the hospital, uh, the physicians who care for them, all our staff, and the community at large. And then we were giving, uh, we had people coming to us to learn to, to, to take a yoga class, okay. to learn how to do massage. You know, they wanted, massage. Okay. they wanted to receive the, the instruction about being uh, a yoga participant as well as massage. So some folks would, were trying to, uh, they'd come and spend six weeks and uh, learn about massage and then decided that they could maybe put their shingle out and say, I'm a massage therapist. And this was early on. And I realized that was happening. And I said, we can't do that because we're not training people to be massage therapists. Okay. So then we started with a lot of um, research and a lot of uh, hard work and coming together with the professionals in the area to develop the massage um, certification program. That was how we started. And then we had a lot of people coming to learn how to do massage for a lot of hours and practicing. And then we extended it into yoga to become a yoga teacher trainer. So you not only treat and help people holistically, you teach yoga, you teach massage, massage. and yeah. you train and certify. Mm -hmm. And they have associate degree in, con in conjunction with the Camden County College for the massage programs. That's wonderful. And we have continuing education for anybody in the area that is a massage therapist and or yoga therapist. Yeah, great things so. happening at Lourdes Wellness. And, and the other thing that I think is so unique for us is that nationally, uh, we were the first people to have a hospital-based wellness program 32 years ago. Nationally. nationally. And c it continues to be some of our latest statistics show that we have tremendous amount of number of people, hundreds and hundreds of people coming for all of the programs. It's not just exercise, it's not just yoga, it's just not, it's acupuncture, it's massage therapy, it's learning how to eat properly, how to lose weight, how to exercise, how to be, you know, enhance your spirituality and creativity life. It's a great fun place to be. Yeah. And all of this is happening right here in Collingswood at the Lourdes Institute of Holistic Studies, which is part of Lourdes Wellness Center. And we're right here on Haddon Avenue uh, on, in Station House and down the street as well uh, in the little portion on Haddon Avenue. We're so lucky to have them here. And we're lucky to have you have us. <laughs> <laughs> Another great thing about Lourdes Wellness is that they not only treat you when you're not feeling well, but they do a tremendous amount of preventative strategies that can help you feel healthy. And for that, we're going to talk with Katherine Friedman. Katherine, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do here. Okay. Um, well, my name is Katherine Friedman, and I'm the Director of Integrative Health Care here and Community Wellness at the Wellness Center. And one of my passions and one of the things I like to spend time on is helping people um, eat well. Um, people come here for lots of reasons. They might have cardiac risk factors. They might be trying to change their lifestyle. For instance, they might try to stop smoking and they need help nutritionally to um, help them along with that process. They might want to lose weight. There's lots of reasons they come here. So one of the things that I do is I meet with them as a certified holistic health counselor and we go through a process that really individualizes a plan for them to help them create a better lifestyle. And we use nutrition for, uh, you know, as like a, a launching. So you're a certified holistic 
counselor. Certified holistic health counselor, yeah. A certified holistic health counselor, and you meet with people on an individual basis mm -hmm. to help them get through some of the challenges that they're having with eating habits, smoking. Right. Diabetes? Um, well, we do have a diabetes education program through Lord's Health System, and that's a class setting. Um, okay. I'm not a certified diabetes educator, so we do have opportunities for people that have diabetes, especially if they're newly diagnosed, for education in that area. They okay. can call the Wellness Center, and we can, we can kind of um, plug them into that program, okay. too. So m it's mostly through nutrition you work. Mm -hmm. And so with that, Looks like we've got some food in front mm -hmm. of us. We do, we do. Can you um, tell us a little sure. bit what's going on here? Sure, I put this together just to kind of illustrate some of the common um, subjects and topics that come up during nutrition counseling sessions. <laughs> the reason the Jack Daniels, Daniels is here is only because... <laughs> um, sugar. A couple of nuts. <laughs> I like this lady. <laughs> Sugar is a big topic um, of conversation because so many people that have triglyceride issues, heart, um, you know, heart disease, risk factors, people trying to lose weight, sugar comes up because, you know, unfortunately, most of us have to lower our sugar intake. So the reason that the Jack Daniels barbecue sauce is here is because that is one source of hidden sugars that people don't tend to realize. And so what I borrowed my daughter's chemistry um, set to show that how much sugar is in one small serving, only two tablespoons of um, barbecue, barbecue sauce. Bar barbecue sauce. Has that much sugar Presents in it. this much sugar for Just one serving. Just in one little two tablespoon serving. For one two tablespoon serving. Most serving. people probably have more than two tablespoons. I'm sure that happens. And the more typical one that probably people have seen before, but it's just, it makes a statement when you see it, is one serving of soda has this much sugar in it. This is not the whole bottle, this is a 20 ounce bottle, but just one cup, one eight ounce serving one cup. has this much sugar in it. And that's, 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 kind of that's amazing. Um, much more than the daily recommended you know, amount sure. for an entire sure. day. Um, and that's, that would make up most of, of, of that. Okay, so, now I eat these things for breakfast, I have this for lunch. You wanna make an appointment? <laughs> <laughs> So, this is also the same amount. This has this much sugar in it. People don't typically think uh, pizza has a, a, a decent amount of sugar in it. And one, just one serving of the pizza has a good amount of hidden sugar in it, okay. too. Okay. And why is sugar so bad for us? Well, in moderation, it's not all that terrible, at least natural sweetness isn't. But for most people, sugar is going to exacerbate an inflammatory condition that most people already have in their bodies. And inflammatory conditions lead to things like diabetes, heart disease, uh, arthritis. There's so many things that inflammation can cause and exacerbate. And one of the inflammatory foods that is very common in most people's diets is sugar. Okay. So that's why it's a very common recommendation and not easy to do to reduce our sugar intake. So what should we substitute for these types of of, um, well, you want to foods. choose, you want to learn how to read labels, and that's what I help clients do, is to okay. learn how to read labels when they're grocery shopping, learn mm -hmm. how to shop in a grocery store, where to find the healthier, the healthier products. Um, things like shopping the perimeter that you've probably heard, where if you stick to the outside perimeter of a grocery store, you're going to find the foods that are less processed, that are more natural, that have natural forms of sugar in them. And so your question about natural forms of sugar, typically fruits and vegetables, natural source of sweetness. Um, okay. Things that are low sugar or no added sugar when you're reading your labels, and that's what I help people uh, you know, decipher how to pick one product versus another and what are the benefits when you compare the labels. Okay. Um, lower, there's a lot of lower sugar versions of things that many, that's especially one. diabetics, have to choose, and okay. you know, most people would benefit from choosing the lower sugar versions. Okay. Um, there are natural forms of sweetness that people don't realize that if they eat more um, sweet vegetables, sweet uh, fruits, um, if they substitute a little bit of honey or maple sugar for a lot of added sweet white vegetable. sugar. Good. Mm -hmm. sweet, sweet fruits are great, yes. Bad. Uh, I like oh. to try not to go good, bad, but you know, <laughs> okay. if you're going to say it, I'll probably not that agree. Good. Um, and the thing that people don't, don't realize is if they, if they put natural sweetness in their body, they're going to have less cravings for the, for the real, you know, not so good forms of sweetness over time. But it's, okay. it takes time and they have to kind of change their taste buds. And so people don't like to, to wait until that happens. They, you know, they want a quick fix or they um, kind of lose, uh, lose patience with it. So it's not an easy change to make. But over time, if people start to reduce the added sugars, add more of the natural sweetness, they'll notice a, a, a real good change in their body. Many of us have families and, and kids. And I do as well. And one of the challenges that I have as a parent is limiting the amount of sugars and um, processed foods that my children like. Mm -hmm. So what would be one hint mm -hmm. 
that you could give us that would help us out? For your children, mostly? Yes. For what meal of the day, if you had to pick one? Um, fa getting home from work. Okay. Getting home from work. We're running out to soccer practice. We have to do a quick meal. Okay, you need a quick meal. Um, what I would suggest is preparing ahead of time. Uh, that's okay, usually prepare ahead of time. preparing ahead okay. of time. The night before, use yesterday's leftovers. Like make okay. make a little extra at dinner, so the next day you have something extra to use for either lunch or a healthy snack. Okay. That would be one suggestion. Um, instead of suggestion. grabbing the thing out of a box and microwaving it and you know, having the kid eat it on the car on the way. Or just if you prepare ahead of time and you have cut up veggies and some dips or some hummus or some peanut butter that they can use to dip their veggies in in the car in a little so dip container. The, so have veggies. Cut up already is cut helpful. Up already mm -hmm. And use them to dip into peanut butter or mm -hmm. hummus. Mm -hmm. Honey? A healthy, uh, honey's honey probably too, mu too much sugar, straight sugar. Okay. Um, but the other, the other tip I would give is to always make sure no matter if it's a meal or a snack, there's one rule that applies to all meals and snacks that will make that meal or snack healthier and it will make it more satisfying, to, especially to children, over okay. a period of time. That's to make sure that every time they eat something, there's some protein, there's some um, healthy fats, and okay. some carbohydrates, some complex carbs in it. Don't just give them pretzels and a, and a, and a juice. Okay. Because that's not all three. There's no pro, barely, there's no protein in there. It's mostly just sugar, okay. and there's no healthy fat. So they're going to be hungry again in a half an hour. Okay. But if you give them something that has protein, fat, and and carbohydrate protein, in it. Protein, healthy fats, mm -hmm. and carbohydrate. Yes. So if you were to give them a fruit or veggies dipped in hummus, which is a um, a bean type dip, has beans and it has protein, has healthy fats, then they'd get all three components in one snack, and that's going to ride their that's going to give them energy over a period of a couple of hours versus. A half an hour, you know, and it's going to give them so many more nutrients and vitamins and minerals and fiber. So that's, that's a good, wonderful. that's one good example of a substitution. Many of us need to lose weight or manage our eating. Some of us had New Year's resolutions that we're just going to eat better. Mm -hmm. How would Lourdes Wellness help us with that? Okay, well there's lots of ways. Um, one way could be an individual appointment to deal with lifestyle change and especially nutritional eating or healthy eating. Um, another way would be we have several group programs that address stress that address emotional eating, that address weight loss. Um, we have one particular program that I really love to recommend to people, and it's a mindfulness eating class. It helps people go through exercises to tune into the, um, the process of eating in such a way that they get more satisfaction out of eating, that they're more mindful, that they don't rush through and eat. You know, you, so many of us eat so fast that we just we forget that we even had something to eat, and, and it doesn't really register and satisfy us. So it's a, a really good class that gets us to be more mindful. Um, so the Wellness Center has several programs to deal with stress reduction, which is huge. Anytime anyone's trying to make a lifestyle Stress change, reduction. Stress okay. reduction. Um, individualized or group um, healthy eating classes. Okay. And individualized or group um, exercise classes. So okay. there's, we kind of hit the, the whole mind, body, spirit um, in a lot of our programming, which, mind, is, body, which is one of our, which is our specialty. So okay. um, there's lots of choices here. Okay, great. Okay. One of the interesting aspects and classes they have at Lourdes Wellness is holistic movement classes. And to discuss that with me and tell me more about it, we've got Martha Wallace, one of the personal trainers. Yes, hello everybody. Uh, Lourdes Wellness Center has um, a variety of holistic movement classes. They range from either yoga to fitness to Tai Chi. Um, we really do focus on a wide spectrum of how we can you know, help the body holistically. And through our classes, which are very popular here, we um, incorporate many exercises, whether it's for body strength, whether it's for cardio, you know, whether it's for um, you know, joint health. So what, a, what holistic movement classes are versus a personal just working out. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Well, the great difference is that you can come with a buddy. Um, it's a group system. Um, all of us here at Lord's Wellness, Wellness Center, we like to have support system behind what we do. So our classes are a great opportunity for that. You could come and, you know, um, we have settings in group or we have settings on one-on-one. -on -one. We do personal fitness training as well as an individual session. So you do personal fitness training. Yes. But this we're talking about now is holistic movement. I right. have never heard of, and, yeah. I, and I train. I mean, I go to trainers and everything. Yeah. So what's the difference? What's well, holistic movement? Right, well, holistic is all about mind, body, and spirit. So you're connected. Okay, so we're getting to mind, body, and spirit. Yes. So obviously with holistic movement, we're, we're focusing on the body here. Okay. Um, you know, you can also incorporate, you know, your mind and your spirit through holistic movement when we have our fitness classes that cater to, you know, a yoga class that focuses on, um, 
let's say, um, Weight loss for you know weight loss for, with yoga. You know you're connecting with your mind. You know to help you have right. that kind of mentality to help you with um, ways to lose weight right. and as, as well work the body with motions to you know incorporate weight loss. So right. using those muscles that would really benefit weight loss. Like with, when we talk about um, strength and endurance, like fitness classes, like total body workout classes with right. strength training. Right. You know you're really working those muscles that helps you know for healthy bones, strong joints and um, weight loss as well. Okay. Okay. So, so you got a couple exercises. Oh, yes. I get a chance. You ready go. for your workout? I'm ready for my workout. Okay. Now Oh, you know what? I'm going to button up a little bit here. <laughs> get ready. All, All right, right. Get here loose. We go. Okay. I'm ready. All I'm right. loose. Okay. So what we do here with a personal training, which is a um, big you know, aspect of what we do with holistic movement here is um, we do either group personal training, which is great. Like I said, you bring a friend, it's a buddy system. Um, it's a really fun, call it class atmosphere that we can get an effective workout in, or we can do one-on-one -on -one sessions. So you bring a buddy, yes. you can hit a class mm -hmm. for one-on-one -on -one sessions. Exactly. One-on-one -on -one with Martha. Okay, so let's start, Hugh. Okay, you ready? Sounds great. All right, I'm going to give you some weights to use. All right, here you go. Okay, Got these? super. All Got right, it. what we're going to do, we're going to do a um, bicep curl. Okay. okay. What's really good with um, weight resistance training is that not only are you making your bones stronger, you're making your, health, your joints healthier, you're also helping, you know, help um, your muscle mass become larger and decrease body fat. So it's, okay. very, it's very important to have, okay. you know, weight resistance training within a workout. Okay. Okay? Super. So let's start with bicep curls. You're going to okay. hold your weights in each hand like this. Okay. Bring them down to the sides of your okay. hips. Right. And your elbows stay close to the body, so they don't okay. really move. Okay. We're going to use that elbow joint to lift up right to the chest, back okay. down. Okay. Nice and slow. Feel the resistance. Okay. Good. Feel Back the resistance. Mm, oh yeah. So a little slower. Mm -hmm. So just slower the better. Just the slower yank the better it because up. you don't want to be too rapid. You know, speed's not important with this. Okay. Okay, because you don't also don't want to injure yourself. So you okay. want to make sure that you're careful. Now with that. I I understand how this would help the bicep. Yes. How does this help the joint? Does this help the joint? Is there oh, a Oh yeah, because with this you're stabilizing your joint right now. Okay, your joints are meant to be used. They're right. meant to be moving. Right. So with this you're helping it become stronger by stabilizing the joint with this specific exercise. Okay. And at, and at the same time as your joints moving, you're helping the bones out as well. Okay. So for the, for this specific exercise, what would be why who would come to you? Like, how would, so on an individual training, why would somebody, what would be their symptoms or what would you be trying to correct okay, well, or how yeah. would you be trying to help? A large them? population we work with is people who are interested in weight loss. Okay. So if we have that customer that comes in and says, hey, you know, I know that um, I could see, you know, my number on the scale to be, you know, a lot lower, you know, what can you do to help us with that? You know, okay. and also with weight loss, it's not just about losing the pounds, having a number, it's also about becoming healthier because with that, okay. you're going to gain a stronger um, cardiovascular system with the cardio training that we're going to do with you and as well be like a stronger, you know, more leaner person. Okay. So what we're going to do with that is with weight loss, we tailor a workout prescription with you that focuses on a cardio workout and an effective, um, uh, an effective strength training workout too as well. So we incorporate both. So you incorporate it. So uh -huh. once again, mind, body, body and, and spirit. spirit. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. So Lourdes Wellness, it's mind, body, and spirit in a holistic matter. You get the point? Well, if you haven't, I'm about to. And for that, we've got Lydia Reese. Lydia, how Hi. are you? Hi, hello, Hugh. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Lydia is an acupuncturist right here at Lourdes Wellness. So share with me why people would want to come in to Lourdes Wellness and get acupuncture. Okay. Well, we see a wide array of medical conditions here at Lourdes. Um, often patients are, are um, referred by their physicians for things like low back pain, headaches, fertility, and a big one is stress. Low back pain, headaches, fertility, and of course stress. <laughs> okay. And uh, we uh, introduce the patients to the treatment through a first one hour consultation. Okay. And through that time I get to learn about the patient, their um, medical history, and, um, and at that point I make a diagnosis. Okay. 
Okay. And we use small needles that are the size of a cat's whisker, I say. That, that's a nice way to putting it. <laughs> okay. So it's, it's a very thin needle, and we can insert it anywhere on the body. Um, for instance, if you do have uh, knee pain, I might not just use points on the knee. I might use points you know, throughout the body. But of course, we address the, the, um, the reason why the patient came with what's called a branch treatment of, of pain relief. Okay, a branch treatment of pain mm -hmm. relief. Now, Lydia, I have two young boys. I've got my own business. I am constantly at really high level, a little bit of stress. <laughs> is there anything you can show us quickly sure, yeah. that might be able to help me? Definitely. Stress is a big one. So um, what we're going to do, because you're fully clothed, I'm going to look at your ears, the points in the ears directly send you know messages to the brain for reducing stress okay and maybe one right here between the eyes because that's a forward thinking and we want to kind of stay present so that's a good point for you okay so if you want to take that a seat that sounds great yeah we'll get Hooray. started here okay. we go all right needles ears <laughs> nose needles so this is your first time Hold my on. first time this is i'm excited about this <laughs> Okay, take a deep breath. Okay. That's the, the first part, right? Learning to breathe and relax. Okay, learning to breathe See, and we relax. See, we learn to just, you know, do other things here besides just put needles in your ears. We learn to breathe and relax. Lydia, I'm feeling better already. <laughs> now, is there any way I have to hold my head? Is there anything special? Or are you just kind of relax and go? No, with you're just going to relax. Um, you know, typically... I would be doing a whole body treatment, but the ears are, are really, like I said, a fast way to get the release that you want from stress. So I'm going to use this point up in the upper ear called Shen Man. Just a quick tap and you'll feel, you know, maybe a little zing here and there. Okay. And um, that's about it. And then the needles usually stay in for about 20 minutes. Okay. And um, how are we doing so far? Doing fine. Okay. We'll do a couple on this side. Okay. Yeah, I'm barely feeling them going in. I do. I just feel like a touch. Yeah, a little tap tap is more. You feel like the. It's called the tube of the needle. Okay. That we might feel more so than the actual needle itself. Okay. Okay. So now I'm 20 minutes like this traditionally? <laughs> traditionally it's 20 minutes like this, yes. So are you putting any more in? I'll put one on the top here. Are your little antenna. Okay. <laughs> How do I look, guys? <laughs> I'm Sister Marianne, and I'm signing off for Lord's Wellness. <laughs> and I love Collingswood. <laughs>